Strange and fatal events unfold around world moments after Julian Assange posts cryptic warning. What the hell? WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange often leads the charge against scandals that leave the higher-ups visibly shaking. After he promised to reveal Hillary's worst nightmare last year, Assange went on to publish over 20,000 pages of scandal-ridden emails that belonged to John Podesta. This move resulted in bringing down Hillary's entire campaign. Now, this world-renowned hacker is shaking up the masses once again with an extremely cryptic message he tweeted on the final day of 2017. Only a few hours after Assange's extremely gut-clenching prediction, multiple people would end up dead and massive computer outages would occur which of course would naturally leave many questioning the connection between these events. If you know anything of Assange, then you know that the world-renowned hacker often reveals things in very cryptic ways, forcing people to put the pieces of his research together. So when he tweeted out video on the last day of 2017 with no caption to explain why internet sleuths immediately began tearing the video apart for some sort of meaning. The video that Assange tweeted out was a music video which literally tells us that something is up because that is not his style. The video referenced stolen passports and people dying, and individuals in the video were frantically trying to flee the country by airplane. Horrifyingly, just 12 hours after Assange's mysterious message, things within the video seemed to start actually happening. At Miami International Airport, Assange's nightmare predicted began to play out when the computer system for passports that is operated by U.S. Customs and Border Patrol suddenly crashed without warning, creating a subsequent nightmare for travelers as no one could leave the country due to the passport systems being completely shut down. And these system crashes were just the beginning of horrifying events to unfold. On opposite sides of the globe, two world-renowned CEOs were trying to leave the country at the end of the year like many others, but sadly they would never make it out alive. On opposite sides of the globe, two world-renowned CEOs were trying to leave the country at the end of the year like many others, but sadly they would never make it out alive. Bridgewater Associates executive Bruce Steinberg's plane would go down after crashing into a mountain on Costa Rica on New Year's Eve and everyone on board was killed. Steinberg's sudden death by plane is now raising eyebrows and outrage considering his ties to Hillary Clinton and what he had literally just exposed about her. Currently, unlike many of the deaths surrounding the Clintons, the plane crash is being reported as a freak incident where 10 Americans lost their lives. The timing of this tragedy is extremely chilling given the eerie internet post that Julian Assange made just hours before. From the outset, it seems like another fatal tragedy, especially since family members are involved, however, on a closer look at the connection to something huge with even bigger ramifications for the powerful, it seems that perhaps there was a sinister motive involved. It looks like the Clinton curse may have struck again. This particular family reportedly has a direct connection to the United Nations and the Clinton Foundation. Steinberg reportedly worked with the Clinton Foundation in the Clinton Library, Amanda Shea from Freedom Daily pointed out. Chillingly, Steinberg's plane wouldn't be the other plane to mysteriously crash following a Santieri warning. The second incident that is highly suspicious is the death of yet another globalist and CEO who literally would also lose his life in exactly the same way on the same day. In another crash involving a small aircraft, Compass Group PLC Chief Executive Officer Richard Cousins and four members of his close family were killed when a seaplane crashed into it the Hawkesbury River in Sydney, Bloomberg reported. Cousins' plane crashed shortly after taking off for San Jose. It is still unclear what caused the plane to suddenly crash. Money, CNN reported. Richard Cousins, 58, had run Compass Group for more than 11 years. The CEO of one of Britain's biggest companies and four of his family members were killed in a seaplane crash in Australia on New Year's Eve. International catering firm Compass Group, CMPG, a global 
Fortune 500 company said Monday that CEO Richard Cousins died when the aircraft crashed in New South Wales. We are deeply shocked and saddened by this terrible news, Compass Chairman Paul Walsh said in a statement. Four members of Cousins' family and the pilot of the plane also died in the disaster. There were no survivors. The thoughts of everyone at Compass are with Richard's family and friends and we extend our deepest sympathies to them, Walsh said. Did Assange know something or was his video purely coincidence? He has always been dead on when it comes to exposing Hillary Clinton as well as many other things he has revealed over the years. Were these deaths just another incident disguised as a horrible tragedy in order to keep more of Hillary's dirty laundry from being aired? And was the passport system failing part of a plot to keep people from leaving the country? Or just a regular malfunction of technology?